Okay, this one's been um, a little while coming, but definitely one I really wanted to do. Uh, this is Doom, uh, in this case GZ Doom, uh, but we're going to be playing the original three episodes. Uh, and I'm going to be playing them on Hurt Me Plenty, because I used to play on Hey Not Too Rough, but I am trying to uh, improve my uh, play. So uh, in... Doom, you play as a space marine who is uh, on the moon of Mars, in this case Phobos. Uh, there are two moons of Mars. There were um, scientists working with a portal that uh, they um, were able to open between the two moons of Mars, bases thereon, uh, Phobos and Deimos. And uh, they were having all sorts of fun throwing things through the portals uh, only to discover that suddenly uh, things weren't coming through properly and uh, demons or monsters um, technically they are demons burst out of the uh, portals and uh, ravaged the bases so you are a marine uh, whose team was tasked with uh, cleaning up basically um, and trying to uh, f rescue the bases but uh, your team who took all the good weapons uh, were basically killed so uh, we have got to uh, wander through the moon bases and uh, try and find how to get uh back home for a start, but also try and find a way to uh, stop the demons. So Doom is a game by id Software. They uh, had previously made Wolfenstein 3D and Commander Keen. Uh, this was a real breakthrough to the big time compared to the relatively niche success of those two titles. Both of them are classics, but uh, they never reached the sort of pinnacle that uh, Doom did. So we're playing through uh, episode one at the moment, Knee Deep in the Dead. I am playing with a mod. Um, I modded this game uh, along with several other games to allow you to uh, play as a female character, uh, which is something that interests me. I think there's not enough games with um, uh, characters, uh, female characters. And uh, I find it interesting idea of being able to uh, choose the gender of your character in games where the gender of your character isn't relevant, which is very nearly all games, let's face it. Uh, a few where it's story critical, but um, I'm all for giving people more choice. And so uh, I looked into and uh, found mods of Doom and Commander Keen and uh, several other games that just let you uh, switch from uh, playing as a male to a female and uh, I quite like that. For some reason this version also comes with another weapon set uh, and I even modded it myself to uh, replace the still distinctly masculine fists with uh, that knife which I borrowed from another mod. Okay we got the Gatling gun. So uh, one of the oddities of this mod is also that the chain gun has been replaced with two different weapons, a machine gun and a Gatling gun. Uh, and it's randomized, each pickup is randomized as to which one it is. Uh, so in this case we've got the Gatling gun first. Which isn't terrible, but I hope we do find a uh, machine gun at some point, because it is useful to have both. Uh, they both have uh, weaknesses and strengths. Okay, uh, let's go through the red door. So this is the shotgun. The shotgun is your friend. Um, it is basically your all-purpose weapon in Doom. Um, the one you will be calling upon the most uh, it is effective against all sorts of levels of uh, 
enemy. Um, the only really frustrating period is uh, the overuse of caca demons in um, some later levels uh, where the shotgun is uh, not as effective as you'd like. Am I thinking of the wrong spot? I might be in the wrong spot. Just shooting at random walls. Okay. Go away. Try not to shoot the barrels when you're too close. So yeah, it's Doom. Um, the first time I played Doom for the internet was uh, I streamed the PlayStation version in a stream which I famously uh, failed to account for um, some microphone interference and the result was, there it is, a uh, very annoying clicking sound over the entire audio for the uh, game. Oh, come on. Got him eventually. This is the chainsaw. I didn't used to like the chainsaw very much, but I've come to really appreciate it over the years, uh, particularly for dealing with caca demons. Oh, where are you? Oh. Uh, for those wondering, I play pure keyboard. Um, not because I like hate the mouse, but I never did really learn to play mouse and keyboard FPS setups. Uh, I suppose I could if I really wanted to um, take the time. I could uh, teach myself, and uh, I probably will have to at some point uh, to play some games. But um, for uh, classic FPSs like this, I usually play keyboard only. And yes, I know that you... You know, you were always able to play mouse and keyboard. I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, knocking that. I mean, I knew people who played mouse and keyboard on Wolf 3D. Uh, so yeah, definitely I am aware of that fact. But uh, I just never did. For whatever reason. So yes, I play uh, on the numpad with my right hand and uh, left hand on uh, control and alt on the uh... there it is left hand on control and alt and keys over on the left so yeah that's just how i play first person shooters pretty much if you hand me a first person shooter made today my initial thing will be to see if i can remap everything to the <laughs> numpad how I like it. Didn't I get a backpack? Hang on. Bear with me, I'm just going back to the start of this level, because I could have sworn that there was a backpack back near the start that I uh, would have usually gotten, and I seem to have not gotten. Although it's possible I'm thinking of another level. No, I didn't get it. It was there. I just forgot to get it. Eh, let's do a new quick save. And yes, I will be saving. I don't do pistol starts. I... Those at id gave us quick saves, or gave us a saves for a reason. Okay, Toxin Refinery. Famous uh, little death trap here at the start. You go away. So yeah, don't jump in there. You can't get out. Uh, 
I was going to say that Doom 1, uh, the first three episodes, and particularly the first episode, has always very much been my favourite uh, game in the series. I really love what Doom 2 brought to the table. But that said, I also think it, um, it just suffers from level design that is not as good. Uh, it's fine, it's perfectly functional, but I think it's it's a less interesting game in that kind of regard. I think the levels aren't as well designed. I think there's a lot of really great stuff in this first episode, and uh, to a degree in the other subsequent episodes as well, that really... Uh, is what I will always think of when I think Doom. I can't remember where all the secrets are. So if I walk around going, eh, eh, eh. That's because I'm looking for secrets. Specifically, I can't remember how you get up there. Or even if you can. There is There are rockets up there, so I think you can. But um, I can't remember if I've been up there and since forgotten how, or if I've never actually been up there and I'm just going crazy. Uh, so we've opened up this area, which is... The fun area. This is the uh, path to the secret level. And welcome to the demons. Uh, the pinkies, as they're also known. Um, the demons are a melee enemy, our first purely melee enemy. The imps can scratch you if you get too close to them, but the uh, pinkies are a purely melee enemy. Okay, no, didn't quite make it. Okay, that should drop it. You don't get a noise cue that this is dropped. How far back do I have to go? Other than that, okay. Let's get that barrel out of the way. Oh, there it is. You do get a noise cue, you're just so far away by the time it happens that it's quiet. Okay. I cheated. I'm playing this in a uh, source port and it has jumping. Uh, so I will occasionally jump. Because I'm a cheating bastard. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the other one. Okay, hang on. Okay, go, 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 go. Stuff ya. I have shown that I know what I am meant to be doing, therefore I believe I am justified in using the jump button. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, we now have the rocket launcher. Whoops. Yes, there is something over here. I was going to say, I think there's something over here. Okay. Let's try and stop taking damage at this point. Not entirely with success. Okay, that's cool. We got a soul spear. I got health to burn. Okay. Supercharge and a soul spear. I know what I'm talking about. Now, we have unlocked this section, which leads to the secret level. Although first we gotta deal with these guys. And more of them. So this is where the Gatling gun comes into it. It's uh, far more powerful than the machine gun, or even the chain gun, I believe, but uh, it does have a uh, warm-up and cool-down time. 
that you've got to deal with. So that's the toxin refinery done. And in the next part, we will carry on with uh, the next level, which is the secret level, military base.